There's a saying that I've heard and I love. It goes like this. What you see is not more real than what is true. And what is true is that Gen Z are not millennials. What is true is that Gen Z are unlike any generation we've seen before. You may see them and think they're the same because they're humans, but internally they are wired unlike any generation we've seen before, and they truly are different. From a zoomed out perspective, a couple of things about Gen Z that are really interesting is it's the first post-gender, post-racial, and post-religious generation we have ever encountered. Things are happening on a rate and a scale so quickly that we've never seen before. And so the reason that we feel compelled to tell the story is that this generation has figured out how to leverage the world they live in. If we are gonna call them into a higher destiny of who they are, which is our responsibility as leaders and parents, by the way, if we're gonna draw them into the best themselves that they can be, we have to understand them. We have to get alongside them on this journey that they're on. One of the things I love about Gen Z is I learn from them all the time. It's not just the, I can't figure this out and I give them my iPhone. It's, it's way more than that. We were talking about Eric Hoffer, just that right. quote, right? Uh, learners inherit the earth. While the learned, the experts of a previous system, a previous mindset, find themselves beautifully equipped to lead in a world that no longer exists. And I don't wanna be obsolete with my children. I work with young leaders, but my interest as a dad is I need to know how my boys tick because I, I believe that every person has a, a self-image, a belief system. And that belief system tells you who you can be, what you can do, and what you can have in this life. So if I don't understand the belief system and the self-image of Gen Z, then I don't understand how my boys see who they are, what they can do, and what they can have. So for me, the stakes couldn't be higher. Yeah. Part of our desire and mission is to share what we've learned and what we've, we've discovered and seen firsthand. And part of that has got to do with waking ourselves up. Part of that's got to do with sharing this information with people that are interested in hearing because the opportunity is now to influence this generation well. The opportunity is now to be impactful and meaningful in all of their lives. The flip side of that is if we choose to treat them just like the teenagers of yesterday, if we think that they are just going through a phase and gonna figure this out, which they will in some form or fashion, not in the way we want, what we will end up doing is we will lose the influence on a generation, an entire generation. That influence looks something like this. The generations that came before Gen Z, the millennials, the Xs, the boomers, they have an incredible amount of legacy, experience, knowledge, and wisdom to pass on. Part of this journey is figuring out how to do that in a way that is impactful for Gen Z. If we don't do that, we're gonna lose a generation. We're gonna lose a gift that we have to give this generation because we would not have figured out how to position ourselves with them in a way that they will receive it well. As a student develops, how they learn completely changes. And so many educational systems don't reflect that. So as a student starts to change um, developmentally, how the brain processes information, how it stores information, it becomes radically different. With Gen Z, you wanna be where things are going to be. That's where I think you wanna reach out to Steve. Uh, if you know Gen Z is going to come up and Gen Z is going to be your customers, your clients, eventually your managers, and I think that's where the advantage with Steve is. You're able to look at his stuff and go, ah, that's where things are going to be two years, three years, six years from now. Let me pull that now so I'm prepared. Build your pieces before it's necessary. And I think that's where the advantage with Steve is. Our encouragement to leaders and parents 
now that you realize that this generation is different, is to not only look at them differently, but to understand that your role, the role that you need to play with each and every one is different. Our responsibility is to lead them well. Our responsibility is to call them into a destiny that pulls them into a greater themselves than they would be without us. Our responsibility is to pass down this amazing legacy that they don't know that they don't, haven't received from us yet. And in so doing, we have seen that the results of walking with them in a way that is upbeat, a way that is creative, a way that is entrepreneurial, a way that meets them where they're at, produces amazing results.